I am. I'm gonna clear the cabinet, except for this one shoe. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here at one of my favorite places as of recently that I haven't really came to a whole lot because it is far away for us to drive to. But Aaron is in the driver's uh -huh. seat. He is my chauffeur. That's, uh -huh. that's what I like. It, I can then daydream out the window. <laughs> so we're going to go inside here and see what we can find. Hopefully they have some great stuff. Nobody else is here. Yet. So, yet. All right, I just walked in and immediately see some really pretty glassware, like the Moon and Star here and the Amberina. This is a covered dish. For $5, I am going to get that as long as there's no real big issues with it. In fact, I don't know how to get into this, though. But it looks pretty good. And... This, this face is 15, and I think I'm gonna get that ruffly one back there for 10, like a handkerchief style. I really like the red, like the amberina color, so I'm gonna do that. They have this biscuit jar here. That is Cos, um, Consolidated Glass Company, and it is, I think, 25? Or maybe just, I just, it's all scribbled, I'm not sure, but I love that pattern. This one has like the little quilted glass with the painted on it it's just so pretty and there's a fenton up here there's a little candle there but i am going to get those other two oh little piggy banks for three dollars this one's three made in japan i'll think about that yeah i'm gonna get this glass though oh that's pretty this green one up here we have 20 on that opalescent footed. Very nice. All right, the two red pieces that I showed earlier were in beautiful shape with no issues. So I'm definitely getting those. There's a blue moon and star in the um, shakers. They're $10. I don't think I'm gonna do those. I would if they were like seven maybe, but that's just a little bit on the verge for me on that one. So I will not. And they have all the green coin dots here. Green coin dot is pretty popular, but I don't think I'm going to do those. And then they've got this nice fireplace. Oh, Union specific, specific, the <laughs> Union Pacific helmet. Aaron might like this. I don't think, I think he's oblivious over there. If I hold it up, how long will it take for him to like look over here? I think he did see. Well, he, he might want that helmet. I'll just leave it there. Actually, I'll just take it with me. What am I thinking? I don't know if he wants to collect safety helmets. Ooh, the gold and red is so pretty. That is nice. Little butter dish, covered butter, and some sugar and creamer bowls. All right. Let's see. Okay, they have some really pretty cabinets up here with lots of fun things. Actually, some ceramic trees. And those are really popular, you know, the ceramic trees. Here's a little Majolica plate with the caddy, $15. That's not a bad price, though. And then the caddy, $10. That's nice as well. Now, this is the place, and I didn't film here, but I did a haul on it. And this is the place where I had gotten the Art Deco large vase and it was in here and I did really well on that because I just don't see I just don't see that type of pottery so I was sure to get it whenever I saw it and they have some gone with the wind style lamps too and a little cookie jar for 25 they have a nice assortment of stuff in here because like if you look around, there's like craft tables and there's like a toy area over there, furniture, lots of furniture, but you know, I don't sell a lot of furniture. I can't ship furniture, unfortunately. This is cool. This is a train thing, I believe from Frisco. Compliments, That's so neat, 125. There is a Capodimonte candlestick holder and vases. Candelabra 50, and some silver. I haven't been buying a lot of silver lately. 
see. More Capitamonte. This looks like made in China. And it is. Actually, it's made in China, Hong Kong. Painted in Hong Kong. Some piano baby. Well, they're like little. They're kind of like piano babies, but they're a little summery ones. Okay. Gnomes. Look at that washer. And then all the stuff that's just back here waiting to be processed. So much. So much stuff. Now, back here they have even more. This actually used to be, I think, was it the Salvation Army? Was this the Salvation Army? Yes, it was. Yeah. So, I had shopped here before when it was the Salvation Army. And I'll say, it wasn't a great Salvation Army. They, they didn't have a ton of great stuff, but I did come here occasionally. Now there are some piano babies. 50% off these three shelves. Oh my goodness, okay. So, are these $5 each? Hmm. It's like a, a toga, baby. Well, this one is $5, it says, so I would imagine they're all $5 each, so $2.50 each. And then there's this, this, um, owl. That's a Bossons. Bossons is known for their heads, the collectible heads. So this would be a dollar. I will do that. It does have some paint chips here and there because of its age, but I mean, for a dollar, I really can't help myself. As much as I'd like to help myself, I can't. So when that happens, you just go with it. And that's what we're doing here. We're just going with it. There's a clear juice reamer down there. Some little strawberry canister. Mm, there's an owl. That one would be $2.50. Is it musical or is it just a figure? Oh, it's Lefton though. So $2.50. As long as there's no chips, I will. Because it has that Lefton name and I do like Lefton. So I think I will go ahead and get that one as well. Here you are. Yep, poke it in the face. Poke. Um, these are half, oh, well, you don't need to know that, but they're half off. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go right around the corner over here. Oh, there's a chenille blanket. Little game chairs. A wide array and assortment here. Ooh, that's a butterscotch. That might be a big light, or maybe it's a repro. The little clock, I don't know. Oh, there's more stuff. Look at these. Oh, more piano babies. Baby. These are $10 each. These cups are cool though. They're um, Bolero, Thermoware. I have sold a Bolero little um, thermos. I'm gonna try these, because these are cool. I like the colors and the plastic. Those are not a price. Oh no. Oh no. Well, it could have fallen off. There's a sticky over here. Are you sticky? Set 35. Oh, for those? I don't know, it was way over there. I, I can't imagine it's that. I can't imagine these are 35. Ah, no. We can go check. I might be anxious to know. Maybe I'll find out. Ooh, I like this orange bowl. Is that old? I don't know. It's sprayed on and it's $7. Hmm. You know, for Halloween. Oh, are you tired already? No. Oh, okay. Some food in me soon. I think barbecue. Barbecue. Maybe. Meh. Ooh, I hear a train. I can't see that. 50% off contents of the metal shelving along this wall. Hmm. This is one of. It's a little faded, but. Oh, there's not a price on it though. Yeah, it's a little too faded for me. Flocked Santa.
Hey, here's a tra no, the train. No, I got the building ready a little bit ago. Oh. Yeah, it says official trainman lantern. Yeah. Anything that says official, I just don't believe it. Like, you're official? Okay, I'm glad you told me. All right, maybe we'll find out how much these are. The Bolero. That's for napkins, man, those are big napkins. Our paper towels. That could That's what you need, you're messy. Yeah. You need big napkins. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just found this adorable little box of turtles. I have a feeling I'm gonna have fun in this box. So, they're three dollars each. This is Potter's Wheel Original Dryden. Isn't that adorable for that turtle? I'm gonna get that one. Look at this wiry mabobber. Oh, there's not much age on that, but maybe, maybe I won't then. So they're three dollars your choice. I like this one. This has that Mexico pottery look. It's red terracotta. I will get the covered turtle. And then this one is, what? Oh my gosh, really? What? That is something else. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, why do I find this so enchanting? I'm gonna get that. Okay, here you go. I love that. Do you, do you see what it's doing? It's a turtle. Yeah. They, different. They did something with it. Okay. I got, so those ones are wax. The green, I think this is wax. Or maybe it's soap or something. Uh, that's a candle though. I'm gonna get these. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good selection of turtles. Okay, so I made it to the floor because I saw this pumpkin down here and it's a slag glass pumpkin and at first I was like what's going on with you because I've never seen it before but then I looked back there and I see that it's a longer burger and it is $25 but it's on this 50% off shelf so I'm gonna get it now I'll have to wait probably until mid-September to sell it but I just like it a lot I like the color that it's trying to be you're trying to be like a butterscotch baby yeah I'm excited for that one there's a lot of 50% off shelves, so I've got to I've got to really look around. Okay, so I don't know what was wrong with me before, but we literally looked at this cabinet first thing and I did not notice it was 50% off. And I was over here saying I would buy those blue ones if they were like $7. And well, they're 5. So, I'm actually going to get quite a lot of this. Well, I shouldn't be dramatic. I'm going to get the moon and the star, and then there is some Fenton silver crest down here. I like the basket, and as long as there's nothing wrong with it, that basket half off would be like seven dollars so and then on top of that there's some nice Fenton uh, hobnail oh and this little swan tooth pick so I'm just gonna go all kind of crazy Ooh, and the moon glow hobnail I like the nut dish for 250 see what I'm doing here it's a problem but I'm okay with it so I'm gonna get a lot of that I think <laughs> Okay, there's this cabinet over here, and I already pulled out a lot of good stuff from it. In fact, it was a lot of this moon glow. I want to call it moon glow. Maybe it's called moonstone. But, um, ooh, I kind of like this shape. That's Fenton. That'd be $4. I'll get that one, too, I think. Um, and then this, the uranium, would be... It's ten dollars, but it'd be five if I get both of them. There's a little bit of flea bites, but maybe I will. And then this is Fenton. That'd be ten. I would get that for ten. Honestly, like I'm liking a lot of this moon glow. I, f I forget what it's really called. I should probably just look it up and let you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. All right, so I pretty much cleared this cabinet. I went ahead and added this one here too because it's, you know, for $6. Like, that is just beautiful. I love the shape of it, the double handle. But yeah, you can see I, I'm leaving just a few things. Like, if I can open it. I'm leaving just like a few things. I, well, should I? <laughs> Makes me think I should buy that too. This would be, I would get the pair of them for five. I don't, I don't want that shoe. But then that one. Should I just go ahead and buy it? Let me see. I have so much of this. I, by the way, I looked it up. It's Moon Glow. I'm just, I'm not, look, here I am. I'm going to clear the cabinet, except for this one shoe. 
from Old Country Roses. That's all I will leave. I'm like Cinderella, leaving one thing. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna clear it. All right, I just was looking through these two flats because they are a dollar each. And I found some things. Now, actually, these two things were, these two flats were actually in the old curio, the old um, counter up there. And I realized, I thought that they were a little bit empty over there. And so whenever I saw these, I was thinking, oh, I think these are all from that case. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Grimace, 1984. Are these just like stickers or? They're, they're a dollar each. So I pulled these three things out. So there's this little girly candle, which is amazing for a dollar. This is a Playboy VIP ashtray. You wouldn't think, but it's there's a little bunny right in the inside. And then this, I think that this is, I think this is old. I'm not, I feel like I, this is, reminds me of something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that too for a dollar. But yeah, I'll get those three. All right, I did really well inside here. And by the way, this place, and I didn't rem oh my goodness, what's it called? It's, I did great here. It's called Southern Illinois Treasure Hunters. That's what it's called. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.